just wanted to show you some of my favorite horse products um, from head to toe, some things that I've liked using over the years. I'm sure there's more I'm not thinking of, um, but maybe this will be helpful to some of you that maybe have just gotten into having a horse or um, getting back into horses. Um, but I would love to hear any products that are a favorite of yours, so drop them in the comments below. Um, but here we go, I'm gonna walk you through um, some of the products that I love and what they are used for. And I also have my lovely assistant Bristol here today. As you can see, she's a thrill okay, Right about now, I'm wishing I had a little bit taller of a table, but we will get through this. So um, for an overall coat and shine of my horse, if I'm just gonna get her ready to go tack up for the day and she's got a layer of dust or it's for a show, I'm just trying to get that extra little shine, I love using Laser Sheen. Um, so this product is great, it smells good, um, it's fairly inexpensive, and you can get the refill bottle just like this and mix it up. Um, this is a great product, I always have this on hand. Um, so Laser Sheen for the full coat. Um, the next product is for flies. Um, we all know that flies are very irritating to our horses and especially if we're going to go ride um, if they're bugging them and you have an extra sensitive horse it doesn't go so well so um, i prefer the tritech fly repellent and um, this works great for mosquitoes and flies we live by the river and we have a huge pond um, so there's lots of bugs and flies out here this really does well um, and yeah, it says up to 14 day fly control. I seem to use it more often than that, but um, it's a great product. So I would highly recommend this for flies. The other thing for kind of the biting gnats and um, the ones that can get in their ears um, or on their chest or under their belly, I like to use a SWAT. And um, this is the clear one, not the pink one, so you don't look like you're a warrior horse. Um, so anyway, this one is great. Just slaps them on their chest and that will go a long way. Uh, it's just a thicker, it's a thicker um, ointment. So that's great, SWAT. And I would definitely keep a box of gloves on hand, disposable gloves, because all of these products, I do not recommend getting them on your skin. Um, they can be very uh, irritant. So use gloves whenever you're using horse products, um, especially like the fly stuff. That stuff is nasty. So use Okay, gloves. another, um, fly repellent I like to have on hand is called Equispot. There's packs like this in the box and you just put it on the um, designated areas like on the um, forehead, down the back, down the back of the legs. Uh, pretty easy to follow the instructions. Also very powerful stuff. Don't get it on your hands. Uh, very strong but it's for those horses like you don't bring them in every day. Maybe they're retired horses. We live on 45 acres on the river. Our horses are living the dream out in their pastures. They don't all come in every single day. Um, so it's nice to not have to fly spray them and know they're not getting bit up um, by the horrible creatures around here. So Equispot is a great one to have on hand, um, mainly for those horses that are not coming in every day. Um, I really like um, the product MTG. If you have like any sort of fungus on your horse, um, rain rot, any type of like a girth fungus, this stuff works great. We have a horse that's extra sensitive. It seems like every time the rain comes and it's spring, she gets like these little bumps under um, the hair and she's kept clean, she's well taken care of and she still seems to get it. So I don't know if it's just her skin is more sensitive or what, but this stuff is magic. Um, and it also, it's to, it's really to help, um, it's, so it's for fungus, dry skin, bug bites, but it's also for mane and tail growth and conditioning and detangling. Now, the stuff stinks, so wear gloves, um, it will make you smell bad. Uh, but this stuff works great. It, you rub it into their skin really well, it's really oily and greasy, and in the next few days you'll see that fungusy stuff just start to fall off and um, it heals the area. So MTG is a great product to have in your barn. Okay, and then the next product um, that I like to have uh, on hand is an ophthalmic ointment, and it works great for if they get, if you go out to catch them for the day and they have like a puffy eye all of a sudden,
throw some of this in their eye, just put it in the corner. It's just a little ointment. Um, it will clear it out it, if there's any like dirt in their eye or whatever's bugging their eye. This stuff is great to have on hand um, just as a quick um, eye solution. So good to have this. And next I have um, Furison. I love to have this in my tack room, um, just ready to slap on any sort of cut that they may get. Uh, love having this. It's just like a healing ointment, um, antibacterial ointment, just like a um, triple antibiotic ointment would be. This is the good stuff. So it's very, very fluorescent, <laughs> but it works great for any wounds that you might come across. Hopefully they're not anything major uh, because if they are, I'd call your vet. Okay, so next um, for joints, I love having EPF5. It's also for like um, tendon and ligaments, um, but I love putting, if my horse has some swelling in the leg, I love putting this on the area and wrapping her with this underneath, um, but I also use it on bigger muscles too. Uh, you can kind of use it around their hips or whatever's bugging them. I love having EPF5, it's just a pain formula. Um, but this stuff I've noticed works great for my horse. Um, also, Surpass is an anti-inflammatory cream that I get from my vet. I love having this um, for any uh, joint problems I'm facing. And this also, you can put this on and put a wrap over it. Um, great to have this. And um, uh, DMSO, love having that on hand. Also, um, good just for any like inflammation put some of that on um, it creates heat and I also am a huge fan of Soar No More uh, this product is awesome look into it it's very uh, safe ingredients and I've noticed a big difference I have an older horse that I took up to intermediate level of venting and I would just manage her with this stuff I'd put it on all her joints before and after I rode um, under wraps uh, you can use this stuff like on their hooves as well for any type of like antifungal. Um, so great product, sore no more. I would definitely recommend this product. Um, the other thing I have for hooves, um, for a hoof hardener, uh, my horse can tend to get very like cracky dry hooves. We live in, they're out in the pasture a lot of the time. So it's very wet, dry, wet, dry. Um, so she gets very cracky. So this um, Caratex, I believe is how you say it. Don't hold me to any pronunciations today. <laughs> uh, this is a hoof hardener for soundness and reliability, it says, um, but you just use a little paintbrush to put it on and it seems to work really well. I use this pretty regularly. Um, every time I'd go to ride, I'd put it on. Uh, and it would really make a difference for her outer hoof. Um, and the other thing I use for soft soles, like when the moisture in the ground um, is more noticeable um, in springtime and whatever, my horse seems to get a little soft soled. Um, and this Durasol works great. You just pour a couple times a week, I'd pour it under their hoof, um, just kind of paint it on, let it dry for a minute. Um, it's very purple, so wear gloves. <laughs> Again, use gloves. Um, but this also will harden your horse's hooves right back up to where they should be. Okay, so um, for under, on the sole of their feet, Copper Tox is great for any thrush sign. So if you see any thrush, put some of this on. Um, very toxic stuff, like wear gloves, don't get it on your skin, wash your hands. <laughs> but uh, definitely good to treat thrush with this. Uh, so we always have some copper talks on hand, just in case. Um, and so that about does it. If you have any questions about the products, um, go ahead and ask me. I'll share with you what I know, um, just from experience over the years. Um, but anyway, some of my favorite products to have, always. Um, but another little trick to have, if your horse's hooves are not the shiniest, um, and you're going to do pictures or something, get some baby oil and go ahead and put it on their hooves. You just wipe it on and it looks way better. So I'm gonna show you a picture, or I'll show you right now 
how um, her feet look and then I'll apply it and show you what it looks like afterwards. It seems to just kind of give it that extra little glow. <laughs> so also fun to okay, have. Okay, so you can see um, how our hooves look pretty dry and dull. Um, just take some baby oil and rub it on the foot like so. Nice little trick I learned at a sales barn. But there you go. Looks nice and shiny. Compared to the other one, I would say that stuff does the job. Who would have thought? Don't forget to check out our other videos, Girls with Ponytails. We cover a lot of barn hacks, um, tips and tricks, training tips, um, anything. So I'm a dressage rider, I'm an inventor, I'm for all disciplines. Um, so just a lot of uh, support in the horse world um, for all those obsessed girls out there. Don't forget to like, um, share with some other horse friends that you think might like this. Um, follow along on Instagram at Rich Trocked. Um, but we're here for you and all your horse needs. Thanks for watching. Uh, we hope you like it. If you guys have anything else that you would like to see, go ahead and drop it in comments. We're here for you. <laughs> Thanks, Bristol.